Nope. All right, so it is currently the next morning. We got Andrew and his new wheels in his hand right now. That's gonna go on the truck. Um, we are now heading on over to Nick's shop to see what all needs to be fixed pretty much and just fix everything. That way I can just get home and then I'll fix everything like the blow off valve, things like that. We'll probably, probably order that tonight. And let's just fix the car so we can get home. All right, we got Andrew Sheridan, the one and only. Hooking the straps. I think that's the last one. We gotta put the ramps down. Oh, we gotta put the ramps down. But we finally made it to the shop. We're gonna unload the car real quick and then pull it into the shop and then try and fix whatever's wrong with it. But guys, we're black in Florida. Black in Florida. We're back in Florida. It's humid. I'm sweating. It's hot. It's humid. I can't breathe anymore. We don't got the fresh Tennessee air anymore. All right. Got the uh, staying off the trailer. This is the only thing that sucks about having a low car is that literally it's impossible to get over anything. But we got it. Took the fuel pressure regulator out. In fact, we put it right over here. Um, we couldn't really find the issue or narrow it down. We took all the fittings and everything off, and um, nothing seemed to be like wrong. These are the the rings, the rings that were sitting inside of right there. Uh, I was told that you want round instead of flat like this. So we were thinking the fuel might have went around that because it's flat, because it was sitting like this. So we're gonna go to the shop, get some O-rings, the round ones, put that back in. We're gonna put this back into the car and see if that fixes the issue. So put the regulator back on and everything seems to be okay, no leaks. So we're good as far as that. Uh, my exhaust did come off on the lift, or the uh, the trailer, so I'm going to move it onto the lift right here and look underneath. I don't think it's too bad because it's not dangling on the ground like it was before. So I think it's just, something's just loose, and we'll go ahead and tighten that, and then I think we'll be all good and set and ready to go back home. I'm just glad we got the feeling issue correct. When, yeah, we're good. All right, so we've been doing some trials and stuff with this car so we got the fueling we got that done now the power steering i don't know if you guys remember cut the exhaust literally oh yeah we so we cut the exhaust let me show you that real quick so, by the way john told me that he posted this in his video which i guess i missed those welds on that exhaust tip it's terrible on that one I that one's all right worry. that one's terrible I'm make sure it gets fixed so they're going to chop where those bad welds are That'll bring this fit back in. Yeah. So good. for right now, we got it lined up perfectly. So we cut the mid pipe. Um, so it li it's lined up perfectly. It just, it's a little bit longer than this one. So there's bad welds on that one. We're gonna chop that off and uh, move it forward, weld it correctly this time, have everything good. So that's that. Now we have the power steering and I, literally made like three videos about the power steering and everything literally couldn't find anything i replaced the pump i replaced the steering rack um i replaced like the fluid the different types of fluid i used atf4 literally tried everything and nothing worked so we finally got it onto the lift as you guys can see and we brought it up and we were looking everywhere and i i told you guys in the earlier video that the line from th this line right here this one right here, that line is actually against the belt right there, and it's actually just shredding the entire hose. So that is the reason why my power steering is going out. We thought it was the pump, the steering rack, it was actually the hose, and it's being shredded. So I'm glad we found every problem with this car. We're going to go ahead and fix everything, 
feeling we got it fixed we're all good power steering the only thing we need to fix now is we got to order a blow off valve and this car will be back ready for action all right guys you need to you need to go slap the like button for this man's dedication here look it i've never been so dirty in my entire life <laughs> um so we fixed the line that was rubbing on the belt which did not actually cause a hole in the line so we fixed that problem that it was, was an issue it would have been an it issue. would have been an issue later but it was not the issue looks like it's the o-ring on i guess what the high pressure line might be yeah, yeah so the o-ring toasted you can kind of see it we'll replace that and hopefully that'll fix our issue hopefully if it doesn't you're scrapping this car and if anybody of you are interested <laughs> For sale, one dollar. Here's my phone number, it's 555. <laughs> this is how you motivate John. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put, <ad> John will put his address down below. If you ever want to make his day, order him some Papa John's delivery. Papa John's? What you doing? Dude, this bolt is so annoying. Yeah, you get like little baby turns on it. So, John, you want to update your people? So, we, we changed the line up there, which it was hitting the bolt, so we had to change that anyways. Or not bolt, belt. Uh, but that was not our issue. Fix the O-ring. Fix the O-ring, still not the issue. We're thinking it's a bad line. We got a high pressure block up. Yeah. Right, maybe right in there. We're assuming it's that one. You got a new rack, you got a new pump. The pump blew out the seals. It means there's a blockage in the high pressure system. Which so would make gonna... sense why when you turn it, it's inconsistent. Yep. You replace the rubber lines on the cooler already. So... Well, you got a brand new rack too? Yeah. All right, John, we'll get her done. I only have 12 minutes left, so we gotta use the minutes wisely. All right, so we got a new pump in, putting the reservoir right in. We are eliminating the cool, whatever this is. The long loop thing. So it, it it's, literally does nothing. It, it's a cooler. Well, there's YouTube commenters out there that'll say Ford engineers know what they're doing, so. We don't need it. Delete. I'm trying to eliminate any other issues because you got a new steering rack, a new pump, a new new pump. You got new lines. Yep. Sure. Nick, what do you think about this? It's junk. Set it on fire. It should work. I mean, aside from another rack again, it's the only thing I would say would be wrong with it because we've we've already taken everything apart and cleaned it out. New power steering pump. New rack. So there shouldn't have been anything wrong with it before, but whatever. We blew it out with some pressure, so compressed air and water, no blockages. There's still a little bit of like notches still in the steering wheel, but it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. So what I'm thinking is the issue, the main problem is the steering column. So we're gonna go ahead and check that next time we go to Nick's place. Um, I just wanted to be able to drive it back home and uh, just get everything settled down over here. But we're gonna go back and check the steering column. Um, after we did everything, the pump and the steering rack and everything, um, it feels so much better like I can honestly drive with it alright so that's gonna wrap up this video hope you guys enjoyed it um, finally made it back home so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure to smash the like button if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel make sure to hit the button down below like always guys have a great day peace